Hi everyone! So in today's video I wanted to speak about inequations or inequalities. So first thing, and I want to make a big fuss about it, it follows on the same steps and the same idea as equations. So I'm gonna put it here, same um, methods as solving Same idea and same methods for solving equations. And I think it's really important for everyone to properly understand that they're basically very, very similar. There are just some small differences. I think just one difference and the rest is the same. So basically the biggest um, difference is you don't have an equal sign anymore. So I'm going to go with... Um, following example so go five brackets x plus four and instead of putting equal i'm gonna put smaller then two brackets x minus five so that's the whole difference i don't have equal anymore i have smaller i could have bigger i could have smaller or equal bigger or equal so just um just a reminder this is smaller this is bigger this is smaller, this is bigger, we also have smaller or equal and bigger or equal. have bigger or equal so those are what the signs actually mean um anything i want to or maybe i should mention this because i think it's quite important so for example if you have x smaller than three on the number line I'm going to make a little number line over here. Um, and let's say I start with 0 here, 1 here, 2 here, 3 here. I actually mean absolutely every single number that's smaller than 3. Anything that is smaller than 3, but not 3. So I normally put it like that. So I don't take 3 for x. x can be absolutely anything that's smaller than uh, three to be fair so make it this a bit more obvious so that's what i have if i have let's say i have something bigger let's think about x bigger negative two so again i have a number line i have negative two here negative one there zero one two and so on so again i take absolutely anything and everything that is bigger than negative two but not negative two so again this is the same it's not negative two absolutely anything and everything but not um, the actual negative two so absolutely anything and everything but not the actual one while if i have the x small or equal to one so i've got the number line let's say i've got two one zero negative one and so on i actually take the number one into consideration in any other number of uh, that's smaller than that so number one is included it's not the same as the other ones 
Number one is included this time, and I think it's very important uh, to understand that. So x can be one. Well, you haven't seen it. X can be one, and it's really important for everyone to understand that when it comes to any inequalities. Now, if you have seen my videos on solving um, equations, I'm just going to follow on exactly the same ideas. So the first thing, I'm going to multiply the brackets together. So I've got 5x five, five plus 20, smaller, 2x minus 10. Now again, this is one of my uh, favorite type of questions because I can choose whatever I want to do and I am in the mood of looking at the numbers. So I'm going to take away the 20 first. So I'm left with 5x here, smaller than 2x. Take away 30. I'm going to take away the 2x on both sides. I'm left with the 3x smaller than negative 30. So be careful with the signs here. And I am dividing by 3. I get x smaller than negative 10. It, absolutely no difference. This is my final answer. I don't need to do anything else. Um, this is the answer. That's the method. The only bit I want to highlight is this. You need to be very careful. I keep it as a negative, but we already knew this. There's nothing different. Now, the only difference comes with the following. I'm going to put it on the side here, on the bottom, with a little exclamation mark. Because things can get a bit different when I have a negative number somewhere. So let's say I have negative 3x smaller or equal to 15. Normally, well, the way I do this is like I divide by negative 3, which is what we're doing right now as well. And I've got x here and I got negative 5 here. But there is something that happens with the sign and we have to be a bit careful and properly understand um, this whole drawings I've put on the side over here because and I'm going to do it a bit differently on the side. So let's say I've got, I'm going to write with this one, let's say I've got negative 3x divided smaller than 15 so it's exactly the same there's no difference but this time i divide by 3 so we've got negative x smaller or equal to 5 but i don't want negative x i want negative i want i don't want the negative there i want the negative to go away so if you think about it this is everything and i'm going to do a drawing this is everything that's smaller than 5 so including 5 so it's 5 and anything smaller but this is negative x so this is just for a negative x i want x so i'm basically flipping all of this on the other side if i want x i'm i need to flip this because i want the opposite of what i have so the opposite of what i have is from five on this is what I want for x and that's why something happens over here and what actually happens is the sign changes so the direction of the inequality changes it just goes the other way and it comes from understanding what's happening here and the difference between the negative x and the x when it comes to um, inequalities like that. So I think I'm actually gonna write a little statement underneath here because it's very important. So I'm just gonna put it on the side like that. So divide or multiply. So in our case with a divide. Um, so we've got divide or multiply.
by um, negative number changes the I want to say sign but I mean the um, an equation sign I don't know how I'm gonna write sign but what I mean by that is this so very careful about this I think it's very important and this is the only actual difference uh, compared to all of the other things related to inequations this is the only difference the rest as you saw it follows on the same idea as equations and i think it's really important uh, for you to understand that so if you have any questions or if you have any other way of explaining this please let me know in the comments below and i would love to find out more and learn more about this and i will speak to you soon have a lovely day Bye.